Hey there, it's Dr. Joseph with Sports Chiropractic Performance, and I'm here with Ashley, our manager at SCP. Today okay. we're gonna show you five different hip strengthening exercises to do. You can do this if you're a runner, triathlete, swimmer, ultimate frisbee player, cyclist, what else? Soccer player? Everything. Everything, because if you're active and you move, you need strong hips, and that's what we're here to do, is we're here to teach you how to strengthen them using a mini band, or without using a mini band. Now the first exercise for hip strengthening, we're gonna be using a green mini band. There are various levels. Uh, we use Perform Better mini bands here. Green is their medium resistance, blue is their heavier resistance, and yellow is their lighter resistance. So if this is new for you, start light with yellow. Uh, if you feel like you can go green, go green. The first exercise is gonna be a clamshell. So Ashley's gonna take the mini band, put it around both of her feet, coming all the way up to just above her knees. She's gonna lie on her left side. Now, <clears throat> your hips are gonna be bent about a 45 degree angle, knees about 90 degrees, heels are gonna stay together, and you're just gonna spread the band apart. You can do 15 to 20 reps. You should feel this right here at the back of the hip. How fast should I go? Not that fast. Slow. Control. Slow and control. Slow and control. Don't go too fast. Don't. This isn't a speed exercise. It's not an endurance exercise. It's just strengthening the hips and getting them activated. So again, heels stay together. That's one of the more common issues I'll see. Go ahead and do it. Is that they'll do the band work and then their heels will come up. <laughs> and then they'll also people will also try to roll to their back as they do this. Be sure you stay on your side, on your shoulders, hips knees and your heels you should feel it if you're doing it right yes and if you if you have a yellow band and you don't feel that much and you don't have a green band or a blue band then just do more reps but the best thing is probably to get a heavier resistance all right so if you have a mini band this is the perfect exercise to start with if you don't have a mini band you can do what we call the starfish pattern it's a great hip exercise. It is a little more challenging, so you don't have to do 20 reps. You can do five, six, maybe eight. Ashley's gonna prop herself on her elbows, hips, knees, and her heels. Hand on her side. She's gonna raise her hips up, propping on the knee, elbow, and the heels, and come down. And up. Now as she comes up, her hips come forward a little bit. Other knee comes out and you come down. Again, it's more challenging. I'm already than, feeling it. That was my second one. Gel. So five or six, something. Be sure you get that hold at the top and switch sides. Again, just propping herself, propping herself up, elbows, hips, knees, and her heels. And when she comes up, hips forward a little bit, knees and heels. I think if your hips are too far forward or your arm is too far forward, you're gonna have a weird Thing. So yeah. try to keep everything in line, press sure. up. So that's how you do a starfish pattern to strengthen the hips. Now, what other people, what people don't realize is you can actually do front planks and side planks to strengthen your hips. So Ashley's gonna show you a front plank because when you're propped up on the elbows, propped up on the toes, this is straight, not just your core isn't the only thing that's holding you up, it's your hips in the front, your hip flexors. So old-fashioned planks you can make these more challenging if you want if you want to see that go check out our other videos and after this she's gonna do a side plank so the key with side planks you can go on your elbows feet stacked or if to make it a little easier top foot over the bottom foot so go do that one hips up same idea it's not just your core holding you up it's the side of your hips and your legs so People really forget about doing these side planks. Again, you can stack your feet or place it in the front. And then the other one is a glute bridge. So obviously with side planks, be sure you get both sides 20, 25, or 30 seconds. Last one, and this is also a great warm up. You do front plank, side planks on both sides, and glute bridge, hold 30 seconds. Squeeze your core, don't overextend in your low back. Squeeze your hips, feet flat, great for strengthening side, front, and back of the hip. Now the last one that I want to show you that Ashley doesn't know yet secret, is we're going to have a exercise. 
So she's gonna lie on her side, prop herself on her elbows like a side plank. Except as she comes up, she's gonna bring this foot here. Prop yourself up on your outside foot and drive this knee towards your chest. Ugh. And holding yourself here, strengthening your adductor like crazy. So all four sides of that hip. Don't go too crazy with that last one. Let's do the other Let's side. Let's do the other side. Okay. Prop yourself on the outside leg. It is probably a little easier on the floor. This is a soft pad, so she kind of sinks into it, but prop yourself on the outside leg. Other leg comes up, hips forward, working that adductor. Good job. And that's all I have for you. If you have any questions on the videos, please comment below. I'd be happy to answer it for you. You like this video too, make sure to subscribe for future videos. Also, if you have any aches, pains, anything you want us to talk about, also comment below. Until next time.